Well, hello again, everybody. It is feeding time for the pigs, and I hope you can hear me <laughs> over all the noise down here and that. Uh, it's uh, store-bought food, gestating and lactating that we buy. We mix it with water. And the last couple days, uh, Andoy and Doro have actually been uh, cementing up uh, these feeding areas here for the pigs. And, or else they have a tendency to spread everything all over the place. Our big boar here, uh, our male, and again, they concreted around that tree there to create a place where she could... Uh, he could feed, I should say, and you can see how wild and crazy, and they eat like there's absolutely no tomorrow. But we always mix the feed with water, and they each get uh, basically a bucket of it. And of course, the dogs stand by, and it's not uncommon for <laughs> the dogs to kind of stick their face in there and grab some of it too. And they already know in the morning when feeding time comes. And they get pretty, pretty wild and crazy here. And again, the same thing here. And this is one of our, uh, I should say our prized female. She has, uh, our first litter came from this gal. She is absolutely huge. Uh, she's pregnant again, of course, and uh, feeding time, like I said, they're quiet now because they're all eating, and of course the dogs love coming down here, and uh, not uncommon for them to get down in there and start uh, doing a little bit for themselves here, if I can walk around here. And we've got one, two, three, four, five females in here. And uh, they are all pregnant at the time, as far as we know. And they've quieted down considerably, so I can actually talk. And we feed them uh, twice a day. And like I said, it's all uh, store-bought gestating and lactating for them. And you see the chickens down here. Beth has, I uh, hope we can catch this at its light enough. There are baskets up above here that Beth has put up here. And our chickens actually come up. We'll pick one out and they'll lay their eggs and sit on them and get the chicks. We've had a big problem of the chicks not surviving, but uh, if you put these baskets up and a lot of the natives will nest out in these baskets and then sit on their eggs until they hatch and then we'll take them and move them up to basically our chicken house. Yeah, you see the, the dogs trying to get in on a little bit of this eating and everything else here. I had talked to you previously about the termites and the damage they're doing in the chicken house and that. Uh, always better if you can uh, build everything out of concrete, concrete piers and, and that. Uh, and a lot of people do here, but back in the country here, it's mostly wood because that's all the people uh, can afford. So it has quieted down considerably. But this is uh, the feeding time, one of the feeding times in the morning for all of our females here and of course our male outside there. And this is what uh, our farming and our part of farming is I kind of back away here a little bit and that to uh, show you the big house 
and kind of where it sits here and of course the dogs always come down because they're always looking for extra food and Ando is feeding them this morning so again thanks thanks for viewing uh, like and subscribe you can see that we've located the pig house down a little bit from uh, where our house and yard is at uh, but we have no problem with the smell the odor or anything like that with them so uh, they're in a really good place here so everybody enjoy your day thanks for viewing I'm heading back up to the house here and we'll talk to you again soon